Hey guys, Darren Asbury here with Revital Outdoors, bringing you another exciting winning podcast. We're going to the great state of Oklahoma, where I was originally from. We're going to talk to Mr. Tad Schweitzer. Tad won the BFL OK Division tournament this past weekend on Lake Tukwala, a lake that I have a lot of history on. Very, very fun lake. A lot of great weights were weighed in. Um, and Tad ended up walking away with the W, weighing, little, weighing in a little bit more than 23 pounds. So congratulations to him. He's going to talk to us about his uh, tournament and what his goals are for the rest of the year. Before we get started, as always, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you get notified when all of our content is dropping. Having a lot of great fun interviewing all these BFL anglers. Very, very much enjoying being a part of a major league fishing. So thank you for everyone that's subscribed to our channel and tuned in and watched our podcast. We're having a lot of great fun with it. Also check us out, Revital Outdoors, on Instagram and Facebook. And if you've never heard of Revital Outdoors, we're a premium CBD company. Our CBD products are great for all the outdoor enthusiasts. We sell directly on our website, and our products are THC-free and made right here in America. Also, because we are going to the great state of Oklahoma, if you are watching this and plan on coming to Red Crest this coming weekend in Tulsa, uh, please come out to the Expo. We're booth 2214. Uh, Revital Outdoors will be there. I'll be there. A lot of our great pro staff will be there as well. We'll be uh, doing uh, samples of our products. We'll be selling products in the uh, booth. We're going to have a show special as well, and you can enter in for a $500 giveaway. So please come out, talk to us, mention that you uh, saw this uh, podcast. We love talking fishing and meeting more people. So, uh, that being said, let's go ahead and bring him in, Mr. Chad Schweitzer. I want to begin by saying congratulations on your win this uh, past weekend. That was one of the biggest bags I've ever seen right in on Lake Eufaula, and I really appreciate you coming on to our podcast. Thank you, sir. Glad to be here. Absolutely. I'll have to forgive you for that OU hat. Um, go Cowboys, but hey. That's <laughs> hey, <Yeah>. I share. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to support the state school, so that's great. Exactly. Had, uh, you know, talk to us a little bit about this past weekend. Really, really tough conditions. One of the things I noticed when I came to the tournament is that the lake was low, a little bit dirtier than I'm used to seeing. Uh, it's a dirty water lake anyway, but a little bit dirtier than what I'm used to seeing. Low water conditions. I heard the lake was very, very cold. There wasn't a whole lot of fish caught, but you walked away with the wind with 23 pounds. So tell us what you were able to put together and, uh, you know, what, what makes everything click for you on Lake Eufaula. Well, uh, I moved here about five years ago, kind of to learn the lake and, uh, uh, fortunate enough to have a job that I can fish now, you know, and uh, it's uh, this time of the year, it's clear water. And if you can find the clear water, it's all cold, the same, you know, temp throughout the lake, pretty much. Uh, I targeted some fish, some deep fish, and I thought I may have found something that nobody else did, you know, and uh, uh, it turned out that way. Um, you know, uh, the lake, you can fish. You know, in the springtime, you can fish shallow. Right now, you know, the fish are still well into pre, pre-spawn, pre you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, there's uh, – I did catch a few fish shallow, but it was some – the wind blowed, you know, the bait into the shallow, so. Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah. So, uh, Tad, what part, of the, what part of the state of Oklahoma are you living in? How far away are you from Lake Eufaula? Well, I'm actually a mile and a half from the Eufaula ramp. <laughs> Well, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Good for you, man. You're a beautiful part of the world, just south of Muskogee Oklahoma, or McAllister, Oklahoma. So, uh, really awesome place. Not too far from Fort Smith, Arkansas, either. So, uh, yeah, you got a great yep. play playground there. Lake Eufaula. It's huge. It's massive. It's oh, full yeah. of dirty water, but it can, it's got some big bass in it. So, oh, uh, it does. That's really awesome. And, and it's a lake that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. But it's no, it's no, a no. lake that you can go somewhere, and it's always different. You know, every, every time I pre-fish, uh, I, I look for something different, you know, and uh, that's that's the way I'm learning the lake. Right. I remember one year at a BFL tournament we had there when I was in high school, the boater that won, I can't recall his name, but he won throwing a uh, five-inch Strike King Shadowless to swim bait in, dirt, in uh, clear water, really mm -hmm. clear water. He was also throwing a drop shot. And I'm like, what in the hell? On Lake you fall? He's like, oh, yeah, man, you just got to cover water and find it. It's there. Yeah, and uh, it, it's just crazy. So you were targeting kind of deeper fish. Do you think they were still holding to that winter pattern? Hadn't really moved up to the pre-spawn yet. Yes, yes. Okay. And uh, okay. and the fish I found, I you know I, I found them in thirty foot of water. Um, you know, but they were suspended. You know, they're uh, you know water got up Thursday to fifty two, and uh, you know I found some fifty two degree water, and uh, and I knew that wind blowing Friday. I didn't even go out Friday. I knew it was going to roll the cold water on top of it. And so I just, I didn't want to hook anything Friday. <laughs> I got you. I got you. How many keepers did you catch throughout the day? <laughs> Five. 
five wow fish. <laughs> yes sir <laughs> did you happen to lose any fish or you got five yes. pikes and got them in the boat I, I lost one fish one fish that was about four four and a half pounds okay without giving away too much you know you were you said you're fishing deep and those fish were suspended do you mind get you know telling how deep they were suspended or well the first the first two i caught were in ten, i was in 31 foot of water and they were about 10 to 12 foot down okay i got and, you uh, so were you live scoping with electronics or you just yes, knew that they were there? Okay. You were no. live scoping. Yes. Okay. So five bikes, live scoping kind of gives me an idea what you're doing, but we won't reveal that. Uh, I know there's <laughs> more tournaments, especially in the Okie division coming up. So uh, that's really cool. So, uh, well, you know, Tad, go and look at the rest of the year. You've already won the first tournament of the BFL Okie division. You're off to a great start. Um, looking forward to the rest of the year. Do you plan on fishing the full season and what's your goals? You're already made the regional. Um, oh yeah, so I'm gonna fish the rest of them. Right, that was okay. that was the that was the goal at the first of the year. Uh, I've never fished one, and a buddy of mine, he's uh, he's like he's fished them for years, and he said, "Man, it's one of the best organizations run." He said, "You need to do it," and he said, "Let's both get qualified and go to the cross." And uh, so he talked me into it, and uh, I said, "That's that's our goal." But I'm you know I'm still gonna fish the rest of them just as hard as I did this one. <laughs> I got you. I got you. So, that takes a little pressure off of you, you know. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, Tad, before we let you go, bud, I just want to give you an opportunity to, you know, I met your family, a wonderful family. In fact, I think you, I saw sir. your wife in, in tears. They're walking away with it. You know, that trophy behind you off your right shoulder, that's a hard damn trophy to win. Um, yes, sir. Some anglers, I've met a lot of professional anglers that have told me that's the hardest trophy to obtain in their career is that one off your right shoulder. A big congratulations to you. You're off to a great start with Major League Fishing. I have to back it up. It's a fine organization. The Vital Outdoors is a proud sponsor of the uh, BFL circuit within the Major League Fishing. So uh, before I let you go, I want to give you a chance to thank any of your, if you have any sponsors, family, friends, anybody that you travel with, I want to give them a shout out for you. Okay. Um, first and foremost, my wife, uh, 32 years. She supported me doing this for a long time. Uh, and, you know, the, the gentlemen around here, they'll go fishing with me. You know, I, I pre-fished this year with one of the co-anglers. And, uh, you know, my son, he's 19. He works for me. I'm fortunate enough to own my own business, take the time to do this. And uh, he puts in just as much effort as I do. And uh, and especially the one that taught me into fish in this series. <laughs> Good for you, you know? Tag. Good for you. So, uh, well, Tag, uh, congratulations again. Good luck to the rest of your 2022 season. We hope to have you back on here because that usually means um, things are going good for you. I know that Lake you follow is uh, there's another stop on Lake you follow for the BFL Okie division. So, uh, you know, hopefully you can defend your title and, uh, hope, you know, we're going to see you at that regional. You've already won. So you're already locked into that. And, uh, yeah, we just look forward to following your career. I appreciate you. Absolutely. From all of us. Hey, can I throw, can I throw one more in? Absolutely. This, please. This right here, you're not a sponsor, but it works. <laughs> I, I put it right. on my I lower think... back after standing on that live scope all day Saturday and it worked. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, so we uh, just to give everyone kind of a clarity of what happened. We uh, we did see Tad. We did. Uh, I was at the tournament. I'm up here early getting ready for Red Crest, and because Tad walked away with the tournament, we gave him a brand new uh, sports cream, which is what he just showed there. So it's a brand new sports cream. We just released the Bassmaster Classic. It's got 400 milligrams of our premium CBD oil in it. It's a cooling menthol effect, so it kind of has that icy hot effect. Um, really great for all the anglers that are efficient on the water. They have back troubles or they have a shoulder aches and sorenesses after a long day looking at the grass. So really great product. It's become a fan favorite. So we gave you that. And we also gave you our brand new uh, green apple gummies, yes. uh, which is really great to take throughout the day. It just gives you head to toe inflammation. So uh, yep. really glad to hear the great results. I'm glad you reminded me of that. I did give you that. I was going to ask how it worked yes. out for you. Oh, yeah. I told you I was going to use it that night. And I did. <laughs> Good for you. It worked Dad. great. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, again, thank you for coming on to our podcast. Good luck to all the anglers fishing the Okie Division this year. Good luck to all the anglers fishing all of the events with Major League Fishing. Again, I'm Theron Asbury. We've been talking to Mr. Tad Schweitzer. He just won the very first BFL Okie Division tournament on Lake Eufaula. Um, good luck to you again, sir. And uh, just, man, you know, right now you're you're leading angler of the year, so maybe you can walk away with this. You're off to a great start. So <laughs> I'm going to try to keep it up. Absolutely. Well, I got to give a big shout out to uh, Go Cowboys again. Go Pokes. So, uh, but anyway, um, from all of us at Revital Outdoors, thank you for joining this podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel before we let you go. And as always, God, God bless. Be safe out there. And we'll talk to everyone very, very soon.